Hi, my name is Nas O'Connor and I'm the International Manager for the College of Science, Engineering and Food Science here at University College Cork. And today I'm joined with Professor Rob McGallan and he looks after the Masters in Marine Biology. So thanks a million, Rob, for joining me. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions just so can students know a bit more about the programme, particularly from your perspective. Um, so really the first question, we'll start off with a, quite a straightforward question anyway. Uh, what makes the programme unique? I think the major selling point that we, we have in the uh, program is the fact that from the start uh, back in 2008, we brought in a professional certificates module. Yep. So whereas the content is very good, very diverse across the main thing, this is a module where the students would do a sea survival course, a powerboat handling course, and a marine radio use course, um, which are very useful certificates after they've uh, graduated with the MSc. Um, for straightaway jobs as observers and things like this. So in the short term and long term, they're really beneficial. I think the other thing is the amount of field work we do, which is always very, very popular, both day trips and a residential field course um, towards the end of the talk programme. Okay, cool. Um, it actually feeds me nicely into the next question, which is all really about kind of careers and jobs. Obviously, marine biology is a niche field, but if you can give me some example of maybe kind of different areas people have ended up in. Yeah, we've, we've had graduates go into a whole range of areas, actually. Some have gone into working for government and non-government um, companies, such as National Parks and Wildlife Service, Environmental Protection Agency, Sea Fisheries Protection, Marine Institute, things like that. Some have gone into private consultancy firms here in Ireland. And then further afield, we've had students go on to work for British Antarctic Survey, uh, Scottish National Heritage, the Joint Nature Conservation Council in the UK. Um, so there's, there's diverse things. Some stay in academia and do PhDs and research assistantships with us uh, and others have actually gone on and done teaching qualifications after the MSc. So there's a whole range of, of areas that our students have gone on to. Great, really broad as well, which I think is kind of quite yeah. exciting considering people might see it as a kind of tunnel vision yeah. area. Um, really, the next question is coming back to something you've mentioned already, which is fieldwork. Fieldwork is such an important component to I suppose any kind of the environmental sciences suite and right across this area and particularly marine biology. Can you give maybe a bit more information about the residential trip you mentioned or any information about the fieldwork would be great. Yeah, yes, certainly. So as I say, across all the modules, we have a diverse range of sort of day trips, which might be out to shores or headlands, things like that, where we're developing skills uh, and marine identification, things like that. Uh, we do trips out to aquaculture facilities and things like this to put some sort of meat on the bones, if you like, for what the students are learning in, in lectures. And then the residential field course happens right at the end of the talk component. It's actually a project based. So we actually take them for a week off to the west of Scotland, where there's a okay. marine station there. And we do a boat work project and they do uh, a shoreline project based on environmental consultancy um, ideas. So they rip really well because they can bring in stuff that they've learned through the first part of the talk component into this uh, group project work that goes on in, in Scotland. And part of the Masters, if I'm correct, I hope I'm correct now, is that there is a research project as well and that component. Can you give me ideas of some of the kind of examples of what students have done in the past or what students have kind of covered off? Yeah, certainly. So after they finish the, the talk component of part one, they go into a four month research project from April through to August. And generally there are because we're such a diverse uh, range of academics teaching on the course, we have a range of topics. So there's a lot of seabird work, there's a lot of immunology, histology in the labs, there's subtitle ecology, intertidal ecology, there's a whole range of genetics, things like that. And we would normally come up with some research areas, but students are more than welcome to bring their own ideas to us. Um, the projects would always be under the supervision of a UCC staff member. Yeah. Um, but we have had students go abroad to do their projects um, locally as well as UCC. So we've had people working in uh, Singapore. We've had people in uh, the US and Canada. We've had people all over Europe and in the UK and other institutions here in Ireland as well. OK, great. That's a nice, um, nice uh, plug for the opportunities there. And just to finish up, I suppose, you know, from your experience dealing with the students, what do they like the most about the program? Usually it's field work is often. It's, it's, the, it's the professional certificates module where they get to play yeah. in boats and jump in swimming pools and then without a doubt the field work. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. It's always the fun aspects. That's the take home piece, isn't it? Who wants no a problem. lecture? Uh, thanks a million for your time today. I really appreciate it. It's great to get a bit more information from your perspective about the Masters. So anyone interested, we have a lot more information online or don't hesitate to get in touch. We're happy to help. Okay. Thanks, very thanks much. a million, Rob.